Hi guys and welcome to Tech It Survival. So it's been a little while since I've done a survival series and a modded survival series and I thought it's about time to get to space. And that means one thing, using the Tech It mod pack. Now I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in checking it out. Um, but yeah, we're going to be going to space, that's going to be one of the main goals and also building a lot of different machines. Now, to kind of give myself some focus, rather than doing the kind of typical thing of just trying to complete the game, trying to go to like the end and fight the Ender Dragon, I wanted to set some like mod pack specific objectives. So number one is gonna be on Galacticraft kind of front, uh, which is building a space station and also as number two, building a moon base. So with Galacticraft, we can go to the moon. Those are gonna be probably the end goals, I can kind of imagine. Another thing that's really cool about this mod pack is applied energistics, which um, looks absolutely awesome. It's kind of like a whole computer network of your resources, uh, being able to pull things out and just smelt them and then pull them back into the network, being able to access them via any terminal. It just, it's just a really cool idea. So a big thing is to build a ME network and also Tesseract so we can teleport uh, resources and fuel and lava and everything around the place. Number four is to build a gigantic nuclear reactor. Um, I just love this part of it. So uh, yeah, big reactors, awesome looking mod and some gigantic turbines and all that kind of stuff. Just build a gigantic kind of proper Bond villain type reactor to power all of the stuff that they're going to be building. And number five is to get a power suit. So it's time to Iron Man up. So those are the five objectives that I've set myself for this entire series. And um, yeah, over the next, well, over, not in the next couple of episodes, over quite a few episodes, we're going to be building up and working towards these. So I want to kind of like tick them off as we go. And I might even set myself some other objectives as we go on in the series. So rather than boring you guys to death, what I've ended up doing is just built a very, very basic base with a couple uh, chests and a bed and everything like that. Uh, also a nice farm as well, so we've got plenty of food. We don't need to worry about that as part of this survival series. And I've also done way more mining than I thought I should have done. It's probably about six hours worth of mining. So I've got loads of materials ready to actually get going and kind of like really kickstart this episode. So just to get started, I'll kind of show you roughly what I've got on my terrible, terrible base. Um, I've got a chest full of like stuff like coal and redstone and this quantum dust, which I have no idea. Same with the raw silicon. I'm sure we'll need it to go to space or something like that, but... Yeah, there's a load of stuff in here that I don't know. I know about these two for applied logistics. Um, I've also got an absolute ton of ore. So I've not been smelting my ore for a simple reason, which is we need to get onto some machines using thermal expansion. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be building a couple machines. We're going to be building a pulverizer. Uh, and also, I think it's called a redstone furnace. I can't quite remember, but we'll find out. Um, so yeah, I've got lots of ores. And I want to double them. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be building uh, some machines in here in my basic shack. Uh, we've actually got, it actually looks like on the map, like uh, we've actually got some, uh, just realized it's like solar panels. If you have a look at it on the side, but it's just the water. Uh, there's no solar panels. I did have a look. Um, we've also got just, yeah, junk as well. I've got tons of junk. So I've tried to be a little bit organized and I think I've got everything here that we actually need for the pulverizer. Um, but we'll find out as I'm sure actually I should really do that over in the crafting table. Um, so to have a look at that, we need to make a piston. I can't remember a piston, so we got uh, iron, redstone, all that kind of stuff. And if I remember correctly, can we do this? And yeah, we can. So I completely forgot. I actually played Test Kit Classic for a long time and didn't know that that was a thing from what I remember, uh, which is terrible. Uh, so there we go, that one there. So that's gold. And two of these. We're also going to need some power as well. Um, so that's going to be quite fun. Okay, so I think we've got everything now to build this. We've got this redstone reception coil. Oh no, we haven't. We need the middle one as well. What's that? Machine frame. Alright, the good thing is we can use some normal glass, which... Um, surprisingly, there's not loads of uh, beaches around. Well, there is a bit of a beach around, but there's not loads of sand around. So I might actually use pulverizer to make sand, because you can use uh, actually make it out of cobblestone, it seems. Here we go. So this is the recipe for it. So we've got the machine frame, we've got the piston, we've got the redstone reception coil. And we're going to build it. And we've also got this flint as well. And I'm quite glad that I went and got all these materials because, uh, well, it saved me a lot of time. <laughs> it really has. And also smelting them as well and cutting them up. So there we go. First machine, pulverizer. Um, so the next one we're going to get is the redstone furnace. I'm pretty sure it's called that. There it is. It's going to be a redstone furnace. Uh, it's just really an electric furnace. Um, I was thinking about piping it directly into it, but... 
looking at the kind of like uh, other machines that you actually need, you do need some dust for that, so you can make like I think it's called Invar or something like that. So we're gonna kind of hold on that on that front for the time being, and not go fully into everything. Um, and I'm sure I bet you I've missed one of these materials as well. Um, but yeah, we'll we're gonna like see how it goes, um, and probably just put them next to each other. Yeah, see, look, I've already forgotten about a gold ingot. There's always something. So we got some gold. Yeah, we do. Look at that 39 gold is pretty good. Um, no diamonds though. I've not found a single diamond, so I've been like mining like crazy, but I haven't found a single diamond in all of my travels. So yeah, it's a bit annoying because I could do with some diamonds so that we can actually get to a quarry because it'd be really nice to well destroy the landscape. <laughs> as bad as that sounds, it would be good to do that. So yeah, there you go. Put that there. Get that there. We got that one now. So we got the machine block. What else do we need? I think that's it. There we go. Cool. So that. That some redstone, two bricks. So we can find some clay, which was actually uh, was like quite far away. Actually, um, there's some only some couple rivers where I am. I'm in a bit of a weird spot, and near the end of the video, I want you guys to try to help me actually uh, choose where my base is going to go because that's going to be really useful. Um, so we're also going to need a machine, of course, dynamo. Um, so we're going to build a steam dynamo. That's like the base one. So what's this? Uh, silver and two redstone. Okay. That's fine. There we go. That's where I got the silver one from then. Uh, we're also going to need some of these cogs. So two of these cogs. There's two iron. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we need two of those copper gears. Oh, gears. Not cogs. Oh, and that's it. Cool. So we'll put that in there. Like that. And... Hey, we got a steam dynamo. Uh, we could also do with some cable as well. So... I have forgotten what the cable is called, but since we can just type in everything, uh, it's not too bad. Which is, can we see it? It's not the energy conduit, is it? Maybe we do want that. And that's something else. I think that's that's like the higher tier stuff. Uh, we also do need to see these portable tanks as well. There's so much um, like oil down below. I've actually started collecting up some of it, but we need some more. There we go. Leadstone energy conduit. That's what we need. And that's what we're going to be building. So there we go. Look at that. Almost had enough materials, but not quite. Kind of got it wrong. So that'll do. So what my idea is, we're going to have these down here. Uh, yeah, actually, I didn't think about that, did I? And then we'll have the dynamo. Do we need to point it that way? Yeah, look at that. So that's in there. And we need to fill this with water. So I could have done with building an infinite water source. So I'll tell you what. Let's do that. Let's get this here. Get some water there. Run out. We've got loads over here anyway, so it's not too bad. So yeah, my beautiful crop field. <laughs> to be fair, I actually built way too much. It's, it's really weird with survival. I always forget like just how much you actually need of everything. Um, but yeah, I built too, ma too much wheat, really. How's that doing? Oh, another one. So there's about four buckets, it seems, which is pretty good. Uh, I've got coal. Actually, should I use coal or should I use... Probably should use charcoal because it's uh, renewable, and I think you can do things with um, uh, coal dust or something. I think that's what you can do. So we have that there, and we have that one there. This is the pulverizer. So that is charging up, so we've got that right. Do we need to do any configuration stuff? Uh, so blue is input. That's the back of it, I think. So I think this is like you're looking at the front of it. So yeah, it is because you have the yellow at the top. Uh, and also got a redstone furnace. How's that doing? That seems to be doing alright for power. Alright, so that is it for our first two materials. So we could actually do with, I think it's called Invar. So let's have a look. Invar ingot, which is made out of Invar blend, which is iron. Oh, and ferrous. So that's something different. Electrum, I think, is the one I was actually thinking about, which is silver and gold dust. So we could actually do with those. Uh, and the reason I didn't want to tie these together, although it would be really quite good, I didn't want to tie them together because it might start to, um, well, they would start to auto smelt and we wouldn't get the dust, which is what I actually need, so, so is that. I don't know what goes in there, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a battery or something like that. Maybe. Who knows? So there we go, first couple of machines, um, and we should also get a chance for other metals and things as well, so that'd be quite good. How's this doing? It's already burned up four, but it's got full steam, and it's got a bit of a charge in there. Could definitely do with a battery 
later on. Mm, just think about. Also, I'm guessing we just have to fill it out with water every so often. Bit of a manual process, but it's fine, I'm sure. Yeah, it's not. Not got a bucket. <laughs> All right, we'll leave that there. Then. Um, so it's not got a bucket there. Okay, so right, so we got that now. Oh, look, lead. Oh, lead. That's quite good. So I think we just do this together. Makes electrum. Don't know how much of that we need. Maybe let's go with four of them and let's smelt that up in this machine. And let that do its thing. So look, we're going to go for a lead stone energy thing. Previous. There we go. All right. So lead stone energy cell. So we need this block of redstone. Uh, we need four glass and four lead. Okay. And a block of redstone. Go with that. Right, and while that's doing that, we'll shove the lead in here. Double the actual lead that we've got, which is going to be pretty good. Um, as well, there we go. Block of redstone. So what else do we need for that bit? Uh, four glass. I think I've already got some. Yeah, I have. There we go. Look at this. Doing good. And we could do with some of that as well. So that'd be pretty good. Uh, and what else do we need in this thing? Uh, free copper. That's where we get Electrum. So I only need one of them, but um, we got more now. It's fine. And and yes, I do forget this fast. Um, <laughs> we also need some copper as well, so we'll get two of those in order to actually smelt those up. So let's pulverize that. That's got our lead now. Um, we've got the Electrum already. So... How are we actually doing? Let's go for the first bit, which I think was this thing. Yeah, so I need two, two of those. Two redstone, that's fine. Probably need three redstone then. If I've picked up a redstone, it's usually because I've forgotten to do something else. There we go. So we've got that first bit. And free copper, yep. And can we build this? I think we can. Because we've got the four things there. We've got that there. Bang, look at that. Leadstone energy frame, cool. And then we just need the copper. So we should have four in there. Look at that. Doubling our raw. How's the machine doing? It's not doing too bad at all. Look at that. So we could do with probably some more charcoal. Um, I think I've got some more wood. Yeah, I've got some more wood around here. So I could probably cook those up. I don't know if what's better, if it's worth, worth cooking it up in the redstone furnace or not. Probably not, I would expect. But we could if we wanted to do that. That would be pretty good. Okay, cool. Right, so. Some basic machines. Right, so should we move this? I think probably it's worth just throwing that in there. And configuration wise, we want output that way. Let me just go blue. So I think this is input. That's output. So that's not charging. That's wrong. So that's blue over on that side. We're looking at it. So that's orange. Oh no, no, that is working. So that's getting a charge, I guess from here. And these have still got a charge. Nope, that's exactly right. Excellent. Okay, so the next thing is to build like it's a wrench, but it's not called a wrench, it's like a hammer or something. Which is crescent hammer, there we go. So we need iron, tin, and is it just or can it just be iron? That's tin. So we need some tin. Which we haven't got any at all. Let's um Let's throw these in here, yeah, and let's get some tin ore, and some iron of course. Let's get loads of iron, because we're always going to need iron. No matter what, we'll always need some iron. So there we go, put the tin in there, we haven't got anything in there. And the reason that I'm do getting this is because you can like change the sides of things and do all this other stuff that I have no idea what it actually does, but uh, you know, we could do with actually uh, some of that stuff also do with making a chest because although we've got this uh, we can actually do with more definitely without a doubt do some more and I could have done with more wood always miscalculate the wood um, so we could do another chest for um, basically putting everything in and we could have actually done it with a strong box or something but for now uh, this will do so maybe we go with yeah we'll go over there and we're going to put the ingots that we get. Actually, let's just use this one for raw ore. 
And this one for everything else. How about that? So then we can like do mixing and all that jazz. Uh, I don't know, but we'll find out what we want to do. 30. Did I put a whole stack in there? <laughs> don't remember doing that. Okay, well maybe we put a whole stack in there, which kind of is okay. We do, we do need a lot of iron. So that's fine. We'll put that in there. That'll do. Get that in there. Um, right, so we just needed one of those and we needed a load of one, two, three. No, we just need a free iron. So that's not too bad. Look at that. Bang. Got that. And now we have our first. Hey, look at that. So does it just work by clicking? Oh. No, I want that. I want that to be the front of it. Definitely. Definitely want that to be the front of it. Um, we can always pipe these into into each other if I wanted to, but I'm just at the minute I'm quite cu I'm quite um, conscious conscious even. Actually, let's also just take a little bit of that as well and shove that in there. Quite conscious that uh, we don't need loads and loads and loads of it. Look at that steam dynamo is full on energy. Is that because that's full on energy? No, it's still charging, so that's just going quite slowly now. It's burning for a lot of charcoal, but that's absolutely fine. What's the time? Oh, it's night time. Let's go to sleep. There we go. So that is at least our first little bit of uh, machine networks. So at least we've got um, some, well, very, very basic power, but that will do for the time being. Um, we could definitely do with building up a couple of the other machines. So in particular, um, I want to get obviously the Acu Aqueous Accumulator, I think it's called. Uh, sawmill as well, we could do that. Induction smelter, that's the one that I want to get uh, into as well. So we need some invar for that. So invar is that one that is iron and ferrous as well, ferrous metal as well. So we have got a little bit of ferrous. It was actually really rare. So I've only got 14 of those. Um, I could hardly find any of it. Um, but we could definitely do with pulverizing up some of that. Um, but what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to call it a day for this episode and um, at least we've actually got started with everything. Um, we're actually not doing too bad. We've got this very basic kind of area. But what I want you guys to help me with... Whoops. Uh, what I want you guys to help me with is where I'm going to be placing my base. So we could build a base in the jungle on that kind of like mountain there and it's semi-secretive but really you can probably see it but it'll look pretty cool. We could also build underwater and build like a almost like a domed city underneath there, but it's going to take a hell of a lot of resources and time to actually get that done. We could also build in the desert and actually build almost like an Area 51 hidden kind of structure underneath the desert um, with a couple of outside buildings as well. Or we could always build in these big mountains that we've got here and actually have a structure that's sticking out from these extreme hill mountains and have a kind of like almost like a spaceport on top. So in order to vote what you guys can do is go into the description of this video or the card above, click on the link to the straw poll and then just select one of them. Now you can select multiples if you want. So if you like for example the jungle and the mountain, click on both of those, click on vote and then that will cast your vote and whichever one of those uh, wins is where I will be building my base in the next episode. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have, comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.